so welcome everyone to the sequel pretty much to Naruto Storm 1, um, predictably called Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Uh, basically this game was released two years after Naruto Storm 1 and well, as you can see they definitely changed a lot of stuff from the opening video and it pretty much it follows the story of Naruto Shippuden after the you know the end of the original game which followed the entire Naruto original story arc and so basically before I actually start this playthrough I just want to get one thing very clear okay I will not be doing a full playthrough of this game because it is very annoying it is very repetitive it's not fun and it's not even nearly the same quality as the first Naruto Storm game okay what I will be doing, however, is I will be doing the important storyline boss fights, which there are plenty of, based off of the uh, the gigantic boss fights from the first Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. These fights are basically, you know, the more epic fights of the series that have been, you know, transformed into better fights, better storytelling. Oh shit! It's everyone's favorite orange head, Carrot Top. Naruto fixed the lip syncing! They still haven't improved that! Storm 2! Now this intro is amazing. As you can see, it showcases all the amazing boss fights in the game, which are pretty much the fights I'm going to be playing. I think there's like 9 or 10 of them. They're really good, really well done. Oh no, that's not one of them though. Pfft. Oops. Yeah, they threw some random stuff. Hey, it's the biggest troll ever! You saw him! It was the biggest troll in any anime series. Thumbs up. This game has been approved by him. This fucking jackass. <laughs> Here he is. And now the dumbest fight in Naruto history. It was a suicide mission. It was stupid. No reason for them to freaking have that fight at all. It was suicide. Oh shit. That was the epic fight everyone waited for. Now that fight in the anime was actually very funny. It was like a Tom and Jerry style fight. Seriously, that was probably the funniest episode of Naruto ever. It was supposed to be the most serious, but they made it comically hilarious. Alright, so let's begin. Naruto Storm 2. And yes, I am running out of space on my hard drive because I just downloaded about 10 gigabytes worth of games during the Ubisoft, uh, the Ubisoft Amazing Sale or whatever. Seriously, they had games for like three bucks. Shit. Oh, well, fuck that. It's ridiculous trying to unlock all this stuff. I got, I got to 800,000. It's not worth it, although I might break... 800,000 if I do some of these missions. So as you can see, this game is very similar to Storm Generations. You have your story mode, your free battle, online, and options. So we'll obviously do the story. Now, I will not be selecting a new game because, as I already said, I'm not a... Uh, I am not going to be playing this game from the beginning. It is very long, very annoying, and very mediocre. So I, I will just be, I actually know a way that you can play the boss fights really quickly. And I'm probably going to give some backstory too because they didn't fix the story either in this game. What the fuck, why are those two people following me? Why do I remember any of this? Shino and Hanata are following me. Alright, where is it? You talk to this guy, right? Yeah, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to challenge main battles again. This is basically what you want to do when you want to replay some of the fights from the game. I don't think there's anything here, is there? Yes, there is. Alright, so all the normal missions, as you can see, are outlined in blue. All the major missions are outlined in red or orange, alright? So I'm going to play this battle. 